Hi gents, today I will show you a bit a different way of etching gold plated contacts. Instead of using really corrosive acids, we will use reagents available from any supermarket. Here we have a little bit of gold plated contacts. Some of them will not dissolve easily even in aqua regia because of really strong alloys. So let's make ready our etching solution. Before anything else, pull on your gloves because one of reagents is still strong enough to do some skin damage. We're gonna make something called per acetic acid. What you need is a white distilled vinegar. I'm using 12% vinegar. And you will need hydrogen peroxide. I'm using also 12% of hydrogen peroxide. You just mix it in equal parts. But it's not yet per acetic acid. And all we have so far is just a mixture of vinegar and hydrogen peroxide. To kickstart the reaction, you need a catalyst. And the one easily available is sulfuric acid. Myself, I'm using really dirty toilet cleaner for that purpose. Even in the toilet cleaner, when concentrated, you do not want it to get on your skin. You need just a little bit of sulfuric acid. Exact amount is not really critical because it's just a catalyst and it will not go into reaction itself. So anything between 1 and 10% will do the job. After mixing everything together, just leave it to stay at room temperature for 1 or 2 days. Also, I want to show you a little trick about covering your baker in case if you don't have a flask. Here we have about 12% paracetic acid solution. Do not add everything at once, but do it in small portions. Also, do not add anything else to a solution at this point, I will cover it a bit later in details. Depends on only using contacts, but almost immediately you will see some bubbling. Also, it is a good thing to have a plan B, whenever you work with hydrogen peroxide. In case if it boils over, everything will be collected in this borosilicate tray. Keep reaction going until normal bubbling. Pour your used solution into another baker, but do not discard. Then cover your contacts with a new portion of parasitic acid. We will still use our used solution and we can regenerate it to some extent. Just add a little bit of stable salt. Right now what we have in solution are different metal acetates. But by adding table salt we will convert some of them to chlorides. And some chlorides are capable of etching. Actually not every chloride is capable of etching but just the high oxidation states. And to be able to get the high oxidation states, all we have to do is to add another portion of hydrogen peroxide. If after adding hydrogen peroxide, all you can see is just a bubbling but no color change, it means there is nothing happening except for decomposition of your hydrogen peroxide. The reason is simple, there is not enough of hydrochloric acid. Hold on, from where did I get hydrochloric acid, you may ask if I never used it. Actually, we do have some hydrochloric acid, even in traces amounts. Remember, we use sulfuric acid as a catalyst. And what will happen if to mix sulfuric acid with table salt? Right, we will get hydrochloric acid. So if there is no color change, just add a little bit more of sulfuric acid. Well, to be more specific, a toilet cleaner. After the solution is regenerated, you can etch contacts a bit more using it. But if reaction stops, do not waste your time by adding more sulfuric acid. You better use instead a fresh portion of parasitic acid. And just do it so until all base metals are dissolved. There is another thing you must see while adding table salt. Your solution may get cloudy. If it gets cloudy, most likely it is silver chloride. 
right. Even parasitic acid is really weak organic acid, but it is quite strong oxidizer and due to that it is capable of dissolving most of metals including silver, so only exceptions are gold and platinum. Finally, let it settle and just filter it out. For now, among other impurities, what we have in a filter is a silver chloride and a gold foils. I hope you will find it useful and thanks for watching.